Hey there! Today is a great day to learn something new. So today we learn what are the custom rules, how they work. It's a very important feature, so you definitely need to know it and mostly probably should use it. So let's start. Internally, custom rule is nothing but a text file with instructions for an AI model. It can be markdown, it can be XML, but the idea is the same. It's a file with instructions to the AI model. It can look, for example, like that. In this example, we look at the restricted.md files, a rule file which defines uh, what model should not access those files because they contain uh, sensitive data. Of course, usage of the rule files are not limited to only restricted access. They can do much, much more. How it works? Take a look. As you know already, a system use prompt consists of three parts. System prompt, environment details and task. So your rules will be just added into the system prompt while prompt is being built and then they will be sent to AI model so they will be considered as a part of a system prompt. But you define rules on your own. Rule can have limited scopes so it may depend on the situation if rule will be included in the system prompt or not. There are global, workspace and mode rules. With global rules, everything is very simple. They are always applied. So, for example, if on your laptop you have three different projects, like front-end and back-end and mobile application, global rules will be applied to all of them always. Well, as long as they are enabled, of course. They are located in your home folder, not in the project folder, but in the home folder on your laptop. It will be different depending on your, your operating system in code slash rules folder. Then workspace rules. Also, you can meet them being mentioned as project rules. They are applied to a specific project. So, for example, your front end can have some rule set A, then backend have, can have rule set B, and maybe mobile application project doesn't have any project specific rules at all. And then finally, those are mode rules. Mode rules are defined per project, per workspace, per mode. They may be applied only if we, if only if you work in this specific project. In this specific mode. So, for example, if we are in the code mode, then code rules will be applied and ask rules will not. Opposite, in ask mode, code rules will not be applied. Of course. Uh, you can define rules using two different ways. One will be using user interface, graphical user interface, and one is just creating files in file system. Let's take a look how it works. Easiest way to create rule is to use graphical user interface for rule management. There is a button in right bottom corner, uh, which helps us to create global rules and workspace rules. Let me start with global rules. For example, I want to create a file yarn md. This file has been created, it's enabled, and it's opened right here. As we see, this file is located in users alex.killacode rules. It's a file what is not in this project, it's outside of this project in my home folder, not in this project. It will be attached to all the projects, to all the files, killacode will always look for it. And here we can define the rule what exactly we want. In this case, I will keep it very simple. This way, I define a global rule which tells to the AI model to always use yarn instead of npm. Notice what uh, for some of you it can be a good choice if you use yarn or some another tool, for example, for all your projects. But if you have mixed projects, mixed workspaces, somewhere you want to use npm, somewhere you want to use yarn, then you might want to go with workspace rules. So let's take a look on how it works. Once again, I create a new workspace rule file. And 
and this time new file appeared in the project. That's Kila code rules tooling.md file, which exists right in the project. It will not be attached to all other projects I'm working with. It will be specifically where. If I you if I move this file this rule from yarnmd global to tooling.md of the project. It uh, will give the same instruction, but for this specific project. So it will not be applied to all the others. Very important to understand. Uh, also notice what files defined here and killer code rules uh, can be added to Git. As you see, Git reports what I have new file in changes, so I can add them. So these project specific rule files are very convenient to use. Um, then you work in a team and you want to share the same rule set, for example, using your code style guidelines or setting some other team rules to be applied for the project of everyone in your team. Um, so that's how we define global rules by creating file via user interface or workspace rules again via user interface but technically we can absolutely create all the same files all uh, on our own so also you can create these files automatically for example using some scripts uh, and uh, finally if you want to create more specific rules you do it the following way. For the moment, uh, there is no such a tool in graphical user interface. Still, we can do it. We go to killer code folder, create a new folder. We call it rules dash, and then they add a slack of the mode you want to work with. For example, for code mode, it will be code. Then for ask mode, it will be ask for architect, architect, and so on. Obviously, for custom modes, you also can use these uh, specifying uh, according uh, to special slack you define it uh, that you created uh, your own custom mode. So I will stop to ask here and I can create a new file. something very simple so I can demonstrate it easily. This rules ask rule will be applied to the system prompt of the um, ask mode, but will not be applied in any in our case. So we can switch to ask and we can ask something. Let me ask something stupid. So in this case, model will receive this request and we see our rule has been successfully executed. Then using code mode, we'll not do the same result. We can easily switch to edit. We can find ask mode. We can copy system prompt. And we can see what system prompt MD. So front-end tooling custom rule has been added, but in the code mode it will not exist. Ah, yeah. So project rules are executed and added to the system prompt. But mode specific rules are not added here because it's not the proper mode for it. So, what's important to understand about rules? Create rules if you explain same to a model again and again. Rules are the foundation of a memory bank taking approach, which we will discuss later. But adding rule, think if you really want to be added to every request. Once again, for this project or the global rules, for example, they will be added to each and every request going to AI model. So therefore, if you put there too much, that uh, will uh, quickly extend your system prompt to be too big and obviously affect not nicely context window. Then, as always, we've uh, prompts 
As always, as I recommend that with prompt engineering techniques, use examples and use formatted text for best results. And then finally, rules are just instructions for AI models. So less capable models, when can ignore them, take them not that seriously because they're already busy thinking of all the other instructions uh, they've been given before. And um, they are applied at best effort, but particular situation can very much depend on what the model you are using and of course how your rule is defined. With all those limits, rules are absolutely wonderful tool what simplify our job significantly. And I hope today you learned something what will help you to be more productive and more successful with your work. Thank you for watching. I think you did great. Let's meet in the next episode. I will be there for you.